Hey guys, Creative Lori here. Welcome everyone. All right, so I'm just decluttering <clears throat> some of my books I found that I had. I don't need these. Uh, a lot of them are in just about excellent condition. If there's one that has some like damage or whatnot, I'll, I'll show you and let you know. I did a lot of the research on these particular um, books here for lot number one. I just have a few lots. These are going to be like reseller lots, um, or if you have grandchildren, um, and also you'll have the, um, I could sell like one book at, on my last lot. So this first lot, if you're interested, just put want in the comments down below, lot number one. Um, and uh, for the last lot, there's multiples, just put how many you want. Um, second lot, there's also multiples, but I'm selling it as a lot. So, this first lot, um, it has, I've kind of done, like I said, a lot of the research. This is Snow White. The illustrations, let me take the, there we go. Um, it's by Ber Bernadette Watts, and I think this was from Switzerland, yes. Yeah, it was copyrighted in 83, and this is um, an 89 print, and it was printed in Italy. It ranges between 9 uh, and 20 almost $21 on eBay. And the illustrations, I mean, remind me of... Um, oh, gosh... I'm trying to think of one of my favorite painters, Renoir. So you can kind of see his style in here. Um, so this is a nice book, really beautiful illustrations. So it ranges anywhere between nine and almost $21. So that's that one, and it's beautiful. This one is, I basically, basically believe it's new. It's a kaleidoscope book. Um, it's got, I think they said 40 different activities in here and like crafts also that you can do. Oops, let's see. So it talks about Mexico. These are wonderful books. Um, the culture, food, toys, you know, the whole culture. Um, and um, 40 different activities past and present. I like that. Yeah, because actually they teach you how to make this sculpture here, um, and you can make it yourself. Uh, so it's great for kids, especially with the learning at home right now, and um, especially if you live on the border of Mexico, you know, knowing our bordering country is really great and fun for the kids to get to know. And even if they're not on the border, it's our neighboring country. It's just a really great book. Now this one goes for, I wrote it down, between $4 and about $13.92. Um, it's in great condition. Here are the ends on that. I mean, that's, that's not too bad. And then the brand new ones um, are a little bit more. Okay, this next one is just going to be a freebie. <clears throat> Donald and the Loch Ness Monster, <laughs> because it does have some crayon in here, crayon marks. Um, must have been like from one of the school libraries or something, but if it was fine, it would go for about $10, but there is, you could see in the back, some crayon, crayon, someone just got real happy there, you know, I wonder why they... I never did that as a kid, you know, but it's just on a few pages. So that's going to be a freebie, and it is a hardback, and it's the Disney Small World Library. So that's just a freebie. This next one is also in excellent condition. Absolutely excellent. Um, it's called Made for a Purpose, and it's a hardback with the sleeve still on it. And it's by uh, Dandy Daily McCall. And really different illustrations. This is by Zender Kids. This goes between, this is a 2004, um, and it goes between $4 and $12. The graphics are pretty cool. They're just different, you know. It's like, 
Um, I like that they don't look so, the illustrations aren't so cartoonish. They're a little bit lifelike, the, the people, the kids. So, yeah, I kind of like that. More realistic. It's kind of cute. Um, hardback, and like I said, this one goes between 4 and 12. And it's in excellent condition with the sleeve. Uh, great shape. Next one is McGraw's Emporium. And I like Emporiums anyway. And I don't even think our younger generation even knows what an Emporium is. But this is by um, Jim Aylesworth. And the illustrations are very different in here. And they're done by Mavis Smith. Excellent condition. Hardback. Goes for about an S, uh, range of um, $6, and this is the first edition from 1995. It looks brand new. I don't think it was ever used, but it looks like it was uh, maybe for a school, and that would be advanced reading level. Um, <clears throat> the illustrations are just different. Uh, they have some, like, realistic, oops, pictures in here. For instance, it's, like, illustrations and then some things that look real, like that where the canes are, that vase, you know, um, that bowl, you know, some things are actual pictures that they, um, put in with the illustrations, which I think is really cool. It's actually a very cool book. It's kind of a rhyme book. Um, yeah, see like that couch. It's really a sweet book. And I would have enjoyed this as a child. And it's hardback, new. And like I said, it would have gone for four or six dollars as an average. <clears throat> this one I was gonna keep, but um, I think my nephew is too old for it now. Dinosaurs, hardback. There's a collection of these by Brimax. They're out of England. I used, I used to work for a publishing company, a local publishing company. And, um, yeah, I remember hearing about them. Um, anyways, but they, this is a great book. It's, like, brand new, too. So it talks about each of the animals, um, each species, where they, what origin were they found. Um, and then you can see the index of each of the name of the, um, dinosaurs in the back. And this one goes for, I can't read my own writing, between 10 and 15. That's what I could find. And beautiful illustrations. And it talks about them, each one, of course, um, where they were found and which period they were found, like the crustaceous period. Uh, I would have loved this book as a kid. I would have loved it. The Triassic period. So in the back, it talks about, and it shows her skeletal, also the fossils. Um, so once again, that cool map. And for each one, it uh, tells you what page it's on. So that's kind of cool as the index. Love it. And this one, like I said, uh, went originally between 10 and 15. It's like brand new. Um, really nice hardback. And this one, oh my God, I would have loved this as a kid. Annabelle's House by Norman Messenger. Um, it's a hardback. And it. this is a crazy book because it ranges between... $13 um, and $75 used. And it has some, like, you know, like, red from the opposite page. Um, but I guess if it was in, you know, excellent condition, it's pretty much in excellent condition, but you have that. But let me show you what's great about this book. So this is the first um, American edition. And... So it starts with the door, <laughs> and the door opens, so it's one of those, you know, where it opens and um, you have, like, pop-ups, um, cutouts, actually, in the back to go along with the story. So let's get a little further here. So, like, this uh, child's armoire opens, 
I don't even want to open it all the way. Um, this playhouse opens. So you know what I mean. These books, even when I was a kid, were very expensive. And I never, I never owned one. I just remember going to the dentist's office and they had these type. And I thought they were the coolest books ever. So in the back... So every page is like has the, the cutouts or the pop-outs, whatever. Um, here's the page of the cutouts. Now there are two that came loose obviously over time, but so you see all these different ones. Um, more on the back. There's just a couple that came loose. They're all here and they're in here in this pocket. So Anyways, yeah, so it could maybe potentially go for $75. i am not really sure, but, um, um, sorry, I had to put the book down. Here are some of the cutouts. They're nice. And two-sided. So I'm just putting those in there. Now, I, I think, I mean, my gosh, I was an avid reader as a kid. I still am. Um, I think this is a really cool book. And I, every time, like, the book um, people would come to our school and you could buy books, you know, I would go crazy. And those books were expensive, but my parents really kind of let me get a ton of books. I was really, they really supported it. I got monthly magazines, like Ranger Rick. <laughs> anyway, so this lot, with this one going maybe possibly up to $75, I think they're all hardback but one. The Dinosaur, The Emporium, Made for a Purpose. This is a little Disney one that's a gift because it has crayon on, in it. This is um, the activity book for Mexico. Looks brand new. Um, that's paperback and so is this one, which is an older book. And I think they originally printed this in Switzerland. I think it's only printed in Switzerland, but this one was print or sorry, um, copyrighted and printed, but this one was copyrighted in Switzerland and, um, of course, and then printed in Italy. So a little different. Um, so for this lot, it's going to be $20. And that's lot number one. All right. Um, this is a multiples lot. This is great if you're a teacher and you want to give out, like, some books to your kids or if you know a teacher um, and just give them a free book or have the parents buy them for inexpensive. Um, this is going to be lot number two. Put the number up. And there are one, two, three, four of the Tom Sawyer books. Three of Little Women. That was such a great book, too. And one of the Huckleberry Finn. Oh my gosh, another great classic. Um, and then these. So these are all like the same author or um, printing company. Uh, I think it's by, let's see, Junior. it says Junior Classics for Young Readers. Then you have um, this one, which is different. It's um, Apple Classics. It's Robin Hood of Sherwood Forest. And it's got some illustrations in there. Then you have um, the puppy sister. <laughs> and this is real, it's really a cute story. There's a few illustrations also. So maybe for like a, in the 910 uh, range. And then this one is The Trading Game by Alfred Slot. And it's really in excellent condition right there. That's about it. And the color right there. Um, this one, it's weird because when I looked it up, it was going for like $58 on Amazon. Um, but on eBay, it was going for an average of like, you know, 4 or $5. But still a great book. It's like brand new. Uh, $5 is the average. And yeah, 58 on Amazon. It's crazy. But new book, I think these two are new, and this one has been read, because I see like a little crease right here. But you're getting these three, 
One Huck, Four Tom Sawyer, and Three Little Women. And this lot, which is lot number two, is going to be $6. Lot number two. So it's a whole lot of books. Alright, this one's lot number three. Um, it's funny, when I originally looked this up, they were available both on Amazon and eBay. Now, it's no longer available on Amazon, just on Kindle. Um, and I, it was no longer available as a hardback on um, Amazon. But these are from the author. And they're hardbacks. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, I think. Three, yeah, six. And it's called Fudge, I Love Myself Just How I Am by Sonia Huston. And it's uh, they're all um, autographed by the author. It says, remember to be your own superhero. And then she wrote Super Sonia with a cape on her back, like she's um, <laughs> like Superwoman. I think that's great. So just teaching kids how to be, um, you know, them, themselves, to love themselves. And then she signed it here with their first and last name. They're all signed like that. And it's a great book, beautiful illustrations. It's a great message. Um, I think these are great for kids. It's a nice hardback. Now these are, let's see, they are $18.88 on eBay. Um, and when I originally looked these up, they were more available, and now they're not. But um, they're $18.88 is the average. And then, um, like I said, they're no longer available on Amazon. So I'm going to sell these separately. If you would like one, like for your grandchild or kids, um, $5 each. Uh, if you would like to buy all of them, just um, you could email me um, and let me know that or just type it in the, um, in the comments area and I might give you a little break there. But if you would, right as of right now, there are $5 each per book. And um, that is it, I believe. All right, I have a couple more, actually. I forgot about these. Since it's like kind of a kid theme, I wanted to show these. And um, since we're all kind of, uh, I don't know how the school system's working around the nation, but here it's like part-time school, um, stay-at-home school, and they go back and forth with that. So <laughs> I thought a great book. This is brand new. I bought it um, when my nephew is younger, um, but my sister is really not a, you know, a DIYer or decorating person, but it's just about, um, it was from Lowe's, it was 1995, and it's about, um, you know, creating kids' spaces to make their learning experience at home, I think, is really important now to make their space, you know, cool and fun and, like, there's some spaces that are obviously meant for teens and, like, the entertainment side of it, um, Really nice graphics, like their rooms, how to organize their closets and get them really organized. Because I noticed being at home, I, for whatever reason, I am being very, um, not as organized. And I have got to stop that. So this is showing just nice pictures. You can go through and have your kids pick, you know, out which one they'd like. It goes like paint colors. Here's boys' rooms. It's just, it reminds me of a Sunset uh, magazine. It's, is it by them? No, because some of them by Lowe's are by Sunset magazine. Um, I don't know. Really nice graphics and talk about, you know, how to transform spaces and everything. I just thought it was really cool. And this one's going to be $4.00. And it's a nice paperback from Lowe's that was $19.95. And it's lot number four. It's just one book. Okay, next one is lot number five. five. Sorry, I cut myself off there. Um, I think it's three, four, five books. Now this one is kind of like a young 
like a teenager book. Um, so that's going to be there. And it's called The Isle of the Lost by Melissa De La Cruz. It's a scholastic book. There's that one. The rest are basically adult books. Beautiful Ruins by Jess Water. Okay, this is a novel. I think that's Cinque Terre, um, which I've been to some of the Cinque Terres on the coast of Italy. Um, but there, of course, there's some towns that look like that in France, too, and, and in Greece, so it's hard to say. This is brand new. It's The City of Your Final Destination. Uh, they made a movie out of this one. This is brand new. Uh, this one is uh, Angels at the Table. It's a hardback. New. And it has a cover on it. Sleeve. And this is also a hardcover with the sleeve. Um, a nearly perfect copy in regards to art. And it's a story, a novel. It's actually pretty interesting. Uh, I didn't read uh, this particular copy, but I have read, um, or maybe I, I don't remember where I read it before, but I did. So you get two hardback and three of the paperbacks, lot number five, and this is going to be six dollars. So that's all the lots. I do have, um, a couple more, but I thought maybe I would share them another time. Or maybe I should just do it all at once. So let me grab them. All right, this is the last lot. I know I said that my last lot was going to be one where you could buy separately, but that was lot number three. <laughs> okay, last lot is six. These are Singer uh, Time Saving Sewing and Sewing for the Home. Even though it's not technically children's books, um, but I think everyone's probably getting back to basics, including myself. And we're just maybe, you know, sewing our own clothes or, you know, hemming our own clothes, learning how to, um, all of the, I need to learn how to sew, but I'm not sure I'll ever learn. <laughs> or maybe some people just want to get better at it. This is a beautiful book. It's brand new and it's an older book. Um, really beautiful illustrations. And this goes anywhere from like four to fifteen dollars online, and this one was about four to about the same ten, twelve dollars. And they're basically new. I don't think anyone's actually used them, but beautiful book. So for this lot together, let me see if I can show you some pictures. So everything from placemats chair covers, um, pillow covers. So this must be from like the 80s, I think. Let me double check. Just curious. I know this video is getting a little bit long. Um, 1984. So yeah. So for these two books, lot number six, going to be eight dollars for the two books and they're great for a Christmas gift too or for a birthday coming up for someone who really enjoys sewing or is going to be getting into it all right that's it guys thank you everyone and uh, I'm just kind of decluttering opening box set up uh, one box up at a time and I had a ton of books and I thought I already had these and I had already opened up some but I had another box smaller box and that's where the other books came from so, that is it. Thank you, everyone, and I'll see you all soon. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.